The trial and execution of Elizabeth Sawyer in 1621 stands as one of the most infamous witchcraft cases in England, highlighting the dangerous mix of superstition, fear, and social tensions during this period. Elizabeth Sawyer, an elderly and poor woman from Edmonton, was accused of witchcraft, primarily for causing the death of a neighbor, Agnes Ratcliffe, as well as other alleged misdeeds. Her case illustrates how marginalized women, especially those with difficult relationships in their communities, became targets during times of widespread fear and uncertainty. Elizabeth Sawyer lived on the outskirts of Edmonton, a small village near London. Known for her solitary and argumentative nature, she had developed a negative reputation among her neighbors. In a time when religious upheaval, economic hardship, and superstition were rampant, women like Elizabeth, poor, elderly, and socially isolated, became prime suspects for accusations of witchcraft. The slightest quarrel or misfortune could quickly spiral into charges of dark magic. Elizabeth's troubles began with several neighbors accusing her of bewitching their livestock. After arguments or disputes, her neighbors reported the sudden deaths of their animals, illnesses in their households, and other unexplained misfortunes. These events were interpreted as evidence of Elizabeth's supposed supernatural powers. However, the most serious accusation came after the death of Agnes Ratcliffe, a woman with whom Elizabeth had an ongoing feud. After one of their confrontations, Agnes fell ill and died soon after. On her deathbed, Agnes blamed Elizabeth for her sickness, claiming she had been bewitched. This accusation became central to the charges against Elizabeth and significantly contributed to the belief that she was a witch. Elizabeth Sawyer's trial, held in April 1621, followed the typical pattern of witch trials of the time, where accusations were often based on personal conflicts, gossip, and fear rather than concrete evidence. One of the key pieces of evidence was her supposed confession, where she admitted to interacting with a familiar spirit in the form of a black dog named Tom. According to Elizabeth, this demonic dog offered her power in exchange for her soul and it was through this pact that she allegedly gained the ability to harm others. Witnesses testified not only to the misfortunes in their own lives but also to the death of Agnes Ratcliffe. Agnes's dying declaration that Elizabeth had bewitched her was viewed as irrefutable proof. At the time, illness and death, especially when sudden or unexplained, were often attributed to witchcraft, and Agnes's case fit neatly into that belief system. The court relied heavily on this testimony, along with the accusations about Elizabeth's alleged role in causing other miseries in the village. Under the pressure of the accusations and the weight of societal fear, Elizabeth's confession became a decisive factor in her conviction. Despite the lack of tangible evidence, no physical proof of witchcraft, no strange tools or charms, the jury found her guilty based on the combination of her confession and the testimonies of her neighbors. Elizabeth Sawyer was sentenced to death by hanging, a common punishment for convicted witches in England. Her execution took place at Tyburn in 1621, a notorious execution site where crowds would gather to witness the deaths of those condemned. Public executions of accused witches often attracted particularly large crowds as people viewed these events as both a spectacle and a necessary measure to rid society of evil influences. On the day of her execution, Elizabeth was led through the streets to Tyburn, her final moments filled with the humiliation of being paraded before the public. She was hanged until dead, her body left as a grim reminder of the consequences of witchcraft accusations in 17th century England. Elizabeth Sawyer's story gained additional notoriety after her death through the play The Witch of Edmonton, written by Thomas Decker, William Rowley, and John Ford. The play, inspired by her life, portrays Elizabeth not only as a witch but as a victim of societal prejudice and fear. It reflects on how the combination of poverty, isolation, 
and public hysteria can lead to tragic outcomes.